Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of... We have two weeks from today. And if you only knew how much we still have to do before that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm nervous, but I'm trying to also not think about it, you know, I have all this stuff going on, and I'm like, I guess one of the biggest things, we just have to clean and organize the house, since my fiance's brother is going to be staying here, um, <coughs> but, um, we have our cake ordered. We're going to get 10 Subway sandwiches and cut them into, quor <coughs> into quarters. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have to make the hose flashes and I have um, Me, uh, something on Amazon. I'm gonna hold this on to my uh, belt. Excuse me. I had a soda water. It's actually it looks kind of nice for being such a cheap piece of junk. I don't know if it's really all that much of junk either. I mean, it's <laughs> you know, I mean, part of it's definitely junk, but yeah, made in China. Yeah, it's good quality, you know. Yeah, you know, I could have bought this on Amazon for like half the price I bought it for from uh, Celtic Croft. And see, this is not on there. We just don't have time to send it back and have another one sent to us, and we don't have the money to send it back. So. Well, if we send it back when we first got it, maybe. Yeah. So, I have a a, a dark frog on. Amazon, then I'll oh, better work. Uh, the only other option I can think of is getting uh, like a strop, uh, some uh, like leather string. You wouldn't really call it string, but um, and I could tie tie it around here and then tie it onto the belt, I guess. But um, Uh, there's still stuff we need to get for the wedding, um, but you know, like I said, we have the the cake ordered. We need to. I don't know when we're gonna go to Subway. The day before, maybe, or that day. Early that morning. <laughs> yeah. Um. And. It'd be nice if they give us a discount since we're ordering ten at one time. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we're thinking of let's see, one of our friends is going to be there. Maybe having him as an usher, and who was the other person I was thinking? Tom, Tom as the as another usher. Not that we need people to say, well, you sit here, you sit there, because people can sit wherever they want to sit, but there are things that need to be done, and we can't do everything, everything. you know, so we'll have the ushers do what they can do, and we'll do what we can do, because... We'll I mean, go to church the night before we can do some stuff, yeah. decorating and stuff. Yeah. Um, so, and we still have to pay the, the church... For the use of the building, and um, let's see, uh, we have to get one of those helium container okay. tanks to for the balloons. Um, and I haven't talked to my fiance about this, but uh, from things I've looked at in these books that we have on on weddings, and like here, this one. Like this one, and things online, 
we could make a space, a place at the front of the uh, chapel of the sanctuary. Like two seats for my parents and two seats for my fiance's parents, like in memory of wish you could be here kind of kind of thing. And on the um, wedding program, there's a way that you can list if your parents are deceased. There's a way you can list your parents um, to remember them. <coughs> But, um, anyway, so two weeks. And my fiance's brother will get here a few days before the wedding, or a day or two before the wedding. And, um, I don't, still don't know about anybody from my dad's side coming or not. And John's namesake's wife, doubt she's going to make it. Yeah, I hard, mean, what, hard trip, I would think. Yeah, it's been like six or seven hours in the air over the Atlantic. Um, so I don't know. I guess you know what we should probably do is to, <clears throat> is sit. Excuse me. <clears throat> Something caught my throat. Is sit down and make a list doesn't have to be you know a detailed list necessarily but you know a list of things we need to do things we need to buy we need to talk to and all that kind of stuff uh, we need to work on the um the uh, the camera the video camera to make sure we know how to use it so we don't lose whatever video is shot but um, we don't have the money for a wedding photographer, so hopefully we'll get some good pictures from the little disposable cameras that we're giving out. Um, and it would be nice if people would take those home with them and develop them and send us a set, as well as the negatives, so we, you know, just can make more pictures if we want to. Um, because it's going to be expensive for us to take those cameras to Walmart. and uh, we, we took some recently, and it was $10 per roll. So that's like a lot of money. Um, but um, I don't know. Anyway, I guess, you know, if I turn this this way, you can see me a little better. <laughs> there. I have a third eye. He's hiding in the shadows. Yeah. And, oh, my haircut. I'm going to be getting another haircut. Um, at one point, I thought, you know what I, I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, print uh, three or four or five pictures of my dad to take to the barber and say, well, I want something like this. But I don't need to do that. All I need to do, 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 I need to do is tell the barber high and tight. And I'll get a haircut. I mean, you know, actually on both sides of my family, we have this balding spot right here. <laughs> um, and you look at pictures of my dad. And he was young. I mean, he was, you know, I mean, he died when he was my age so uh, when he was young and younger than I am I mean obviously he would have had to have been younger than I am he was losing his hair right here and so he would have some hair like coming over like that you know so but um, you know just tell the barber high and tight and he'll cut it high and tight I hope not all barbers necessarily know how to do that the right way. I don't want a flat top. That's... I just don't want that. I, but, I mean, you know, I want something 
you know, like some things I've I've seen online and in these books, you know, like for the the bride, one way one thing she can do is use the same flowers that her mother used in her wedding. Um, you know, for the you know the groom, you know, you do something similar similar to what your dad did or. You know, so that's why uh, that's why I wish we had the money to buy the swords, so we could have a sword arch. Because when my parents got married, my dad was in the navy and had a sword arch. Um, I guess about the only thing for sure is that we're having a church wedding, well, and our our parents had church weddings. Otherwise. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot that's similar, but I can honor my father by having a similar haircut to, to his. I don't even know if my mother had a wedding. Oh, you don't? Mm. Well, so... Well, it was in the 1940s, too, you know. Yeah. Were you good to get married back then? So, anyway, oh, we got to buy a bottle of champagne and cheap one nice champagne doesn't have to be the most expensive but nice for us and a bottle of one or two bottles of cheap champagne like five bucks for everybody else and then the sparkling grape juice or whatever the sparkling cider um, well, they don't drink. well she said uh, like Sparkling cider or something. Yeah, sparkling. No. So anyway, folks. Uh, yeah, we're we're planning. We're planning. I mean, it's getting close, but. Oh, I was looking at uh, somebody commented on one of my videos saying something, you know, cool beard, and I and some because I guess it was a beard video. People. There were a bunch of other beard videos popped up. I'm like, you call that a beard? It's not a beard. That's stubble. Anyway, so I'm like, they don't look close to the razor, right? Yeah. I'm like, okay. So anyway, um, you know, a friend of mine from back in San Antonio, she and her brother were in Boston and then New York City. There are definitely things in Boston that would be nice to see, but getting there was another matter. We'd probably have to go by Greyhound. We're definitely not going to drive into Boston. I mean, we won't even drive into Manchester. We won't drive into Manchester. There's no way we're driving into Boston. So anyway, New York City would be a nice place to have a honeymoon. I went to Nashville, but the hardest part was getting onto the right road to get me back here. Mm. And it was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon or 5 oh, o'clock. A lot of traffic. Yeah, so everybody was going the same direction. <laughs> so, anyway, folks, yeah, I got to make the kilt ho or the, the hose flashes. And We've got to do the kilt. Or yeah, I have to do, I have to pleat the kilt, and then that's going to be like one of the first things we do, or I do, on Saturday morning at the church because, and I'm going to take a pair of pants with me you in need case. To do it now. No, because it'll just come right out. Well, I mean, I thought you were like stitching the kilt, so the pleats. Yeah. Um. If now. One of the people we've invited to the to the wedding, she's the seamstress for. What's this place called? Who? This place. Oh. Yeah. Sorrel, or Sorrel Fur Factory, but I'm not gonna ask her. She'd probably. I doubt if she's coming to the wedding. She said she would. Maybe. So, but I'm not gonna worry about sewing them in because then I have to sit there and. Anyway. Pop it out. Take it out. Well, no, I wouldn't have to, but I'd have to sit there and lay it out the right way. And 
make sure it was all measured the right way. And I'm already going to do that that morning, so I don't want to have to go through it multiple times. But I'm, I am going to take a pair of pants just in case I can't get it to my satisfaction. But anyway. You need to find a pair of black pants. Yeah. Yes. And I can't find a jacket that really works quite right. Um, Maybe we should go to some of the other, like that one under the church. Oh, yeah. The store. Yeah. So, anyway, folks. Uh, that one that sells, like, used stuff you can, uh, by the post store. She's across, they're across the street now. Oh, okay. So, anyway, folks. Um, bye bye.